Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I am very, very excited to film today's video because we are doing a thrift flip video, which I love thrift flips. I love going out and searching the thrift stores for things to find that I could transform here on the channel. I love filming the projects. All around, these videos are really fun for me to create and I think you guys love them as well. So today, if you have never watched a thrift flip video from me, I'm going to go ahead and head out to a couple of local Los Angeles thrift stores and we are going to search for some items that I could then come back and transform for you guys here on the channel. Now, if you are new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button, then also click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you are notified when I upload brand new videos. And also don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you too love thrift flips or thrift shopping in general. I have my vlog camera here. We are going to turn it on. Let's start rolling and head to thrift stores. So got my diffuser, don't even look. Oh no, just get out of the craft room. It's messy in there. Let's go. Let's go to thrift stores. I have my mask with me as well. But before I head out to the thrift store, I'm going to be turning on my Simply Safe to make sure that my home stays nice and secure while I am gone. You guys have heard me talk about Simply Safe countless times here on the channel because I truly, truly love their brand so much. I'm gonna go ahead and arm this off camera really quickly because I don't want anyone breaking in and stealing my craft supplies. You could take anything else, but just don't step foot in the Lone Fox room, please. I need all the supplies for my videos. So yes, I'm gonna arm this off camera, then we could head out. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor, Simply Safe. Now, if you're in the market for a home security system, Simply Safe is 100% your option. I've had this in my home for about probably six or seven months now, and I have absolutely nothing negative to say about it. It is a reliable home security system and not only is it reliable but it's also extremely chic and very modernized and extremely user friendly which I love. And they have sensors to cover every single window, room and door plus a ton of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors and even HD cameras. And it's all really super simple with absolutely no contracts. For just 50 cents a day you get around the clock protection. And what kind of drew me to getting a home security system was the fact that I now live directly on the street. Before I used to live in a very large big apartment complex where I felt a little bit more safe, but now I live right on the street and I just want to make sure that my home is secure and everything inside is, you know, never tampered with or no one ever gets inside. And that is exactly what I get with my Simply Safe system. So these are just a couple of clips that I took a while back of me setting up the system. I also have the Simply Safe app, which I absolutely love because I'm able to view the feeds from the HD cameras. And if any of the sensors are ever triggered or anything, the monitoring center will notify the police immediately to make sure that everything is taken care of. You guys do not need to worry about that. That is why we have are simply safe to keep us nice and safe. I just all around love Simply Safe as a company. I've loved working with them so much, you guys. And I hope that if you're in the market for a home security system, Simply Safe is the one that you opt for because I really love them so much, you guys. There's nothing bad I can say. I've said you guys 800 times. Okay, just visit simplysafe.com slash lonefox if you'd like to find out any more information or get your very own system. Let's go ahead and get back to the video just got to the first location. This is my favorite thrift store. I just think they have normally a lot of trendy pieces in here and just like cute alterable items. So I'm gonna head on inside and hopefully we can find some things. So far, I cannot find anything. I found a lamp that I kind of had my eye on. I'll pop up a little clip of it right here, but it's $15, but I thought that the base of it was really nice because it's kind of like a structure and I can maybe like macrame on top of it or something. First thrift store was sadly a fail. Um, that's normally my favorite one. I typically can always find like a couple of really great pieces there. So I'm gonna head over to another thrift store. This one's a really, really large one in Los Angeles. I believe it's the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. So we're gonna go over there because that one normally has like a warehouse full of items. It's like a small Costco. So let's head there and hopefully I can find some things to flip. This humongous jug is calling my name, but I don't, it's humongous. I have no idea what to ever do with this. It's kind of cute though. All right guys, already out of thrift store number two and I've still got nothing. Um, sometimes that's just how it works. I haven't been able to find anything yet that just like is speaking to me and I need to find probably about four things to flip for you guys. That's what I traditionally like to do. So I'm gonna head over to a couple more. There's a few more in this area, which is nice. So I'm gonna see if I can find anything there and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hello guys, it's been a couple of days since I last checked in. I actually was gonna flop this video idea. I was like, this is just not the time. I found nothing at the thrift stores, if you guys saw. Basically the first full day I went thrifting, I went to around six different thrift stores and after finding nothing at the first three, I was like, I'm just gonna head into the last three. If I could find anything, I will vlog it when I get back to the car and I could find nothing. I truly went to six stores and found absolutely nothing. And then yesterday my roommate and I went out and just like, you know, got some food. We passed a couple of Goodwills on the way. So I figured why not stop? I didn't have my camera 
with me, but I did find some items to flip for you guys. So I'm going to share them with you quickly here and then we can get into the flipping process, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. Here is my little haul. I'm going to go in a little bit closer to share with you guys what I ended up getting. So the first item here is actually a table lamp. So it looks like this and I have been so obsessed with these little mini tripod bases on table lamps, but I got the lamp base with the shade because I basically found these in two different parts of the store and I took them up together because they both had no price and the lady gave them to me for $7.99 for both and I think the shade is so beautiful. I also got this larger scale cherry wood, which I just despise this color of wood. I don't know why. This little marble table and it reminds me so much of the one that I actually picked up at the estate sale, if you guys remember. But I figured I can go in with some paint and really change the way that this table looks. I feel like this is more of a plant stand or like a little entry table for your apartment or something. I think it's really cute though and has some potential. I also went to another thrift store in Los Angeles. It's called Out of the Closet. It's one of my favorite ones and I was able to find these two wooden bases here. This one was $3 and the taller one was $4 and I don't exactly know what I want to do to these. Last but not least, I have a couple of button down men's shirts. Now I thought the textures on these were really nice and I have this idea in my head about turning these into pillows and using the actual placket as the closure for the pillow. So we'll see how that works. If I can get away with it, it's just a $3.99 pillowcase. Each shirt was $3.99. But let's go ahead and get started on these projects. I have a general rough idea of what I want to do to each, but let's see how they progress. So let's jump on into project number one. Jumping right into project number one, I wanted to start off with these vases. I love the outcome of them, and I thought they, were, they weren't too bad to start off with, but I really love what I ended up doing with them. So I simply brought them outside and used my electric sander, which I have never used before. This is my first time breaking it out, but I knew I needed to put a little bit of elbow grease into getting this stain off the outside of these vases. So I believe these were like some mango wood vases to start off with, and then they were stained darker. They were etched with a design to kind of show the lighter wood through, and then they were coated and almost like an epoxy plastic, which just made them look very cheap. So I ended up sanding off all of the finish, including the stain on the underside to achieve a lighter wood. Once they were sanded down, they looked something like this, and I wanted to go in with a lighter wood stain. I used Early American by Ferrothane, and I started off by staining the taller one. Now, the taller one was not as porous as the smaller one, and the smaller vase totally sucked up the stain, and it turned so dark, which you guys are going to see in a second here. The taller one took the stain really nicely, but the shorter one, as you can see, literally soaked it all up and turned almost the same color as what I sanded away. So I ended up sanding off the stain, and I let those dry overnight, and then in the morning, I got a little bit of painter's tape, wrapped it around because I wanted to do a color blocked edge. I really thought that would add a lot of interest to this piece and not just make it a simple wooden vase. So I grabbed some black acrylic paint, but you could totally go in with a pop of color or a different texture if you want to. I just opted for black in general because I really thought it would be a nice contrast and still keep with that minimal palette I've been going for lately. So I went in with the black paint and painted the upper half of the tall vase and the lower half of our short vase. And once I removed the tape, I just totally love the outcome of these. I think it transformed them so much and I feel like they do not look like the three and four dollar vases I originally bought at the thrift store. So I'm really pumped about these ones. I was so excited to find this lamp in a thrift store. I have been looking for one with a base like this for so long to do a very, very similar technique. I'm going to be using some antique gold and gold leaf rub and buff along with a stippling brush or just any dense kind of brush. And what you're going to want to do with this is actually place out some of your rub and buff on a paper towel or a piece of paper, dab into it, and then blot off all the excess. And you're going to want to dry brush this onto the entire metal base of this lamp. So as you could see, as I'm starting to apply this paint or rub and buff in a dry brushing fashion, it's almost applying in a very antique look, which I personally love. I think this is totally going to elevate the light. I didn't like the original color. It was kind of a gunmetal y gray tone, which wasn't too awful, but I really wanted to elevate it a bit more and make this look like a vintage kind of antique aged brass. So I went in first with my antique gold rub and buff, and I'm just going around the entire lamp on all the legs and all the sides, just dry brushing the rub and buff on. Thank you. 
to add a little bit more dimension, I went in with my gold leaf paint, which almost has a little bit of a golder, yellowy tint to it, and I just stippled this right on top to kind of give two different tones of brass, and in the end, you're going to want some of that gray or darker color on the underside to really shine through. So next, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be pulling out the little sections at the top where you would traditionally apply your hearth, I believe that's what it's called, but I'm actually going to DIY one because my lampshade does not have any section on the inside to be held up. I don't even know how that lampshade was previously used, but I just went ahead and super glued two wooden dowels on the inside, and then I wrapped wire around both of them to secure them in place. I'm essentially going to be creating two little arms that are going to be holding up our lampshade. So just pressing the wire around, making sure it's nice and secure, and then I'm kind of gauging where I want that lampshade to sit using my scissors to cut the wooden dowels. And as you can see, I just topped it off with my lampshade. It sits on top of those two little dowel arms, and that totally worked for me. This next project is such a fun way to use clothing from a thrift store in a home decor project. So I picked up this extra large uh, button down shirt here and I loved the olive green color and the texture. So I cut out an 18 and a half inch by 18 and a half inch piece of wrapping paper. This is a scrap piece of wrapping paper, placed it right over the top of my shirt, making sure the button placket was right down the middle and I'm cutting that out. Now keep in mind, I did it 18 and a half because I left a quarter inch around all the edges for seam allowance as I'm going to be inserting an 18 inch pillow on the inside. I said inserting weird, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do next, this project is so simple, by the way, you guys, I placed right sides of the fabric together. So the two sides that you want to show on the front and back of your pillow, you're going to put those together and pin all the way around the edges, making sure to securely pin down that placket as well. And then just use a simple straight stitch to go around the entire exterior of your pillowcase. Now, the thing I love about this one is we're actually using that button placket as the open opening and closure, so there's no need to leave extra spare room to stuff it or anything. You're already going to be able to open this and invert it with the buttons themselves. So I sewed around the entire exterior of this, making sure to do a back and forth stitch at the start and stop. Once that was all done, I opened up the button placket on the inside, flipped it inside out, as you can see, and this is going to be our pillowcase. It was so simple and easy. I think this project took me maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and you could totally do this with a ton of different shirts if you want to, and make a ton of different pillowcases that you can often swap out, which I love. And you can either display this with the button showing in the front or have them in the back if you just want the fabric to be there. Super simple and easy. Save the table for last because I love the outcome of this project. So the before, I just didn't like. I didn't like the cherry wood, but I figured the actual bones of this project were pretty good. So I was like, why don't we just go ahead and paint this, maneuver it around a little bit, construct it a little bit differently, and we will be good to go. So the first thing I did was just deconstruct the entire table. And I knew when I deconstructed these that I wanted to paint all of the kind of cherry wood sections to be black. So I brought them outside and we're going to be spray painting them black. I just simply inserted all of these into a piece of cardboard so they stuck straight out of the ground and I was able to use this matte black spray paint here to spray them all. I did about two generous coats across the entire surface of all the cylinder dowels. I also ended up spraying the little piece that was on the bottom of the table and then also the sides of the underside of the marble. So just the sides that you would typically see. So once those were spray painted, oh, I also did the feet as well, as you can see here. I went back inside to let these dry and I used my antique gold rub and buff to try and update these tragic plastic awful rings. These are just so ugly, you guys. Like, they look like Party City Halloween earrings. I don't even know what they were trying to do with this plastic piece, but... It's just so odd that, that they would pair this plastic piece with like a marble top. It's just random. So I painted those with the antique gold paint and then I started to assemble it back how it was originally done with the four little gold rings down and I started off by doing four of the leg sections. And 
this is where I ended up actually changing the design of the piece when I was reconstructing it. So I was like, why don't I take the original kind of bottom shelf and put it in the middle so it's more of a useful middle shelf. And I think that this really elevated the overall appearance of it. I think it makes it look a little bit more like a nightstand or a side table and also gives you a little bit more space for storage as you can now store a basket underneath and maybe like some books or decor on top. So I reassembled it as it originally was by screwing the legs in with little gold rings as well. And that finishes off this project. I love the before and after and it only took me like an hour to totally transform this piece. My hair looks so red today. Is that just me or like that looks orange. I'm in the editing phase right now and I completely forgot to film an outro, which is so unlike me. So just popping in quickly to say thank you guys so much for watching today's thrift flip video. I think these projects were so much fun and I also love how they kind of almost coordinate with each other. I could see all four of these projects being in the same general area. If you could kind of imagine like a really cute accent chair with our little side table next to it, with our lamp on top of it, with our pillow on the chair, and then maybe the vases kind of styled around that general area as well. I would love to know which one you guys like the best. So definitely leave a comment below letting me know which project was your favorite DIY in today's video. And also do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much, you guys. And we are so close to 1 million. That was two. We're so close to 1 million, which is absolutely insane. And also guys, do not forget to check out simplysafe.com slash loanfox. Um, if you're in the market for a new home security system, I highly recommend this company. I've been using them for months now. I absolutely love them. And you guys do too. I get so much positive feedback and emails and DMs just saying like, thank you so much for recommending Simply Safe. It was such a breeze and it truly is. So I hope you guys check them out and I will catch you all in my next video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Cannot believe we're already approaching the end of January. Like, that is absolutely crazy. Have an amazing rest of your day though, guys. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.